Hello YouTube Yules. I just wanted to provide a quick update on my large solar system progress. So I am installing the 280 amp hour Eve Cell LifePo4 battery bank. And um, I'm almost done with that. Uh, so what I've got is um, the bank here configured. All the cells are connected serial in packs of four and uh, I still have to, I'm waiting for parts to come in and then I'll make some more uh, cables that will allow me to connect all 16 packs in series to create a 48 volt nominal bat battery bank. <clears throat> so this wall here is going to have um, like uh, AC panel, uh, solar panel, or the solar breaker panel. Uh, there's the 10 gauge input from the solar panels waiting to be connected to something. And uh, so the charge controller will be on this wall, the inverter will be on this wall, and uh, anything else that's necessary, say a down converter from 48 volts to 12 volts probably on there. Um, so I've just got one of these uh, Amper 600 amp 48 volt uh, battery switches here. I've got a 300 amp fuse on the positive terminal there. Um, so this is a uh, Victron Lynx power in bus bar and uh, I never really understood these units until I uh, saw a couple YouTube videos and, and, and then I ordered it and installed it and it's pretty slick. It's got the both both the negative and positive bus bar in it and uh, the negative is protected by these little um, flip down doors so you can connect your negative output here. And then just flip these dealies down to kind of protect the wires. And then uh, what I did is I added some uh, M8 bolts up here. And uh, so I'm gonna, I've got some uh, mega fuses on order and, and the fuse will go from this post to this post in all four positions. And then I'll just hook the uh, output wires here. So all of the outputs will be fused. Um, I got 125 amp fuses, which should be fine for the inverter, which is a 5,000 watt Victron, and the charge controller. I, uh, I'll be uh, connecting all of that as soon as all the parts arrive. Um, and then down here, I have two shunts. So this shunt is... Uh, for the chargery uh, BMS and then I just have that connected with the copper bus bar to the uh, BMB-702 shunt for the uh, Victron battery monitor which uh, I really like it allows me to send temperature and voltage and all to um, all the Victron products that I'm going to have so I, I had to do two shunts connected uh, together uh, in order to provide readings to all the equipment that I'm going to have. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the battery. It's ready to go. I'm waiting for the inverter to come in. I'm waiting for the charge controller. They should be middle of next week. And then I'll have some video updates as I get those installed and working. So, all right, take care, everybody. This is um, Darkstar on the Metagrid signing off.